the Great Reset had to happen, and the human mind couldn't interfere with their plans. The human mind had to be suppressed. People were thinking for themselves. They didn't need bombs or chemicals. They understood that the most powerful weapon was fear. It ate at the human condition, like caged rats around our heads. Our thoughts just rotted, decayed, until the old world had just become a part of our imaginations. By dismantling the core of society, they divided us, making people fight one another. It allowed this to become a psychological war amongst the people. The virus collapsed the economy, allowing the new world credit system to be introduced. National governments formed to become a one world government and religion became illegal. No one could pay their mortgages. Property became government owned. You stayed in line or you were hunted down like a witch. Police were given 100% power and the city's empty offices became the workstations for the fascist state. The collection of data and monitoring human behaviour became the stable economy. No one could understand why and how this happened. But that was part of the plan. Keeping people disorientated, kept them asleep and holding on to the system. The lockdowns had mentally worn people down, broken their minds and true understanding of reality. They needed the virus only to accelerate the changes that they were already making. It was the perfect smokescreen to bring about their new world order which they had been working on for decades. Human evolution needed to be reversed. They had used and abused us enough to construct the artificial reality they desired. There was no use for us anymore. Unless we merged with their machine and followed their path to destruction, we were useless. The number one objective of the reset was depopulation. Humans were over exceeding resources. Carbon emissions had to stop to allow certain technologies to be introduced. But it was also a resetting of the mind, individually and collectively. They pulled us through everlasting satanic rituals to give us human trauma, allowing them to steer evolution as they wished. Mental illness had become like the common cold, and by this point, the virus had been forgotten. We were told there was a return to normal, but we were put deeper under their spell. No resistance gave the permission to oppress and do as they liked, but it was only the people's blindness that led them into their trap. But people still could not face the truth, and by not facing the truth, they created a shadow. And when that shadow filled the light, the darkness became so dense, people were blind. We became frozen and led like lambs to the slaughter. We are spiritual beings experiencing a physical reality, but we trapped ourselves in someone else's dream. The dream seems real, but we do have the ability to change it at any time. Dictatorships only exist with followers. You don't have to go with the obedient herd. There is another choice. Are you scared to be an individual? Or are you happy being the submissive slave?